Hello everybody, it's Claire here from Sewing by Claire and today we've got another kit opening video for you and the, today the kit opening that we're going to be doing is this outfit here which is a for um, Luna's winter skating coat and her winter dress so this is going to be a great one for all those christmas makes that you're wanting to um, put together for your loved ones or for yourself and this the coat has got this beautiful um faux fur collar here and is made out of velvet and then the skirt uh, sorry the dress here has got this um bias trim on the tartan and then a lovely full skirt let's have a look at the outfit in more detail get to the right page it's a lovely full, full picture here for you to see. So there's Luna in her outfit there. Oops, got her head chopped off. Um, and that's the lovely coat there with the dress underneath. See if we can, oh, here's more on the dress look. So there we've got that lovely contrast um, bias cut tartan to give this crisscross effect. And then it's got little ties on the back, sleeveless, but then it's got this lovely full skirt as well. So that's going to be a really nice make. And because of the way that this is cut out, it might have felt a bit challenging for you. Um, so together we will be doing some um, a tutorial on both of these garments as well on that and also on the winter coat, which is also just shown just here again. Um, at, in a, at a later date um, I'm thinking around August September time for those um, but they will be out in time for you to be making your garments for Christmas now I do just want to say a really big thank you to Colleen Mulson, Mulson Hughes um, who has sponsored the purchase of this kit um, and then she'll so it's sponsored the purchase of the kit but then also the tutorials then that are being made as well for from this kit so I want to say on behalf of both myself and on behalf of everybody who's who watches this video a really big thank you to Colleen for her kindness and her generosity because without that we wouldn't be able to make all of these outfits for you to follow along with so this is the kit that I've purchased which is a remake kit and I've purchased this from Cool Crafting and this was £19 at the time of purchase which is in June 2023 so the prices might change and um, now the design the credit for the design of all of the outfits and everything to do with lunar lapping belongs to sarah peel and she's got a physical um crafts and fabric shop in um kendall in um in the uk and it's called cool crafting and i just want to say that um at cool crafting you can buy all of the kits for the characters and all of the clothes as well so they really are a, a delight to have and to open if you are already have the book like I do here, and this outfit is in Luna Lapin and Friends, A Year of Making, which is the latest book, so book four, I believe, um, then you don't need to buy the pattern again because the pattern is already in this book and the instructions. And that is why I've bought a remake kit. But if you want to make this outfit on its own without having purchased the book, then you'll need to buy what's called a Make Me Kit. And I'll pop it onto the... Um, onto the screen here for you. So the remake kit has no pattern in it because it presumes that you've already got the pattern, either in a book or from a previous purchase. But so if you need the pattern, you need to make sure that you buy the make me kit, otherwise it won't have it in there. That's the only confusing bit about um, buying from Cool Crafting. So let me just open this up now, quickly. Excuse all the crinkling. Pop that to one side right so we get a lovely little bag with all our haberdashery in and we'll have a look at that in a moment and then we've got three fabrics in our pack here so we've got this cherry red velvet which is for the winter coat so that's quite dark it's not it's not not a scarlet like it is um on the fabric here it's more of a a deeper almost it's not quite a burgundy i wouldn't say but it's um it's quite a almost like a red wine kind of color and it's width of fabric and let me just check the, the length of this for you so we can let you know how long that is. So that's 13 inches, which is 33 centimetres. And then if I fold this in half, that will probably give me a better idea, way of for measuring it. I tried to measure the one on the other kits and it took me ages. So we just fold this in half and it could be a bit quicker, hopefully. So the width of this is 29 centimetres, uh, 29 inches. Oh, no, it's not. It's 29 inches on the double. So rather than me try and do maths, let me just do this. So that's 148 centimetres or 58 inches what, um, long, that is, by 13 inches. And if, you if, you've, if you've watched the um, other 
video I've done on Freya's opera coat, then you'll know that we talked about nap. Now, nap is the feeling that you get on both velvet and on corduroy as well, whereby when you smooth your hand one way, it feels beautifully soft. But when you pull your hand back the other way, you can see the fabric bunching up. That's because there's some resistance to your hand and it, it can it can, the fabric can go a different colour when you smooth your hand against it. So when we are laying our pattern pieces out on velvet, we always want to make sure that our velvet is going the same way. So I prefer to have the, the nap running down so it's lovely and smooth down. So I'll have all of my pattern pieces placed like this, north to south. I won't have some this way and then some the other way. I want everything to be going the same way. So that's something just to bear in mind, both with corduroy and with velvet. But it's beautifully soft. It's just a polyester, polyester velvet, it feels like to me. Um, but it's very, very tactile and very lovely. So we'll have a go at sewing with that at some stage when we come to do the um, outfit. So let's just have a look at the faux fur. So this is for the collar. So let me hold this up for you so you can have a look at the lovely sheen on that faux fur. And it's got the woven background to it there and you can also see here if we look at the bottom here you can see where that woven fabric finishes and then the overhang of the fur so you can see how deep that fur actually is so it's beautifully soft that's going to look very luxurious on the collar um, and it's going to really really add that feeling of luxury to the to the coat to the garment so i'm going to turn it over to measure it so we can see the actual area so this is 16 centimetres wide by 19 centimetres tall. And again, with this, you've got a nap. This is a perfect thing of so saying that all your fur lies one way. So you, again, you need to be careful that when you're cutting this out, you cut your pattern pieces out the right way. You don't have one that way and one the other way. Because I say, when you try and smooth your hand down, you can see how that fur just all ruffles up. The other thing when you're cutting out with fur as well is that you need to use your scissors and go through, almost part the fur with your scissors to then snip through the fabric. You don't ever take your scissors, just go straight across on fur because as you can see, you get this lovely overhang of the pile at the bottom and you want to keep that intact um, when you're cutting out. So just a couple of tips there for when you're cutting it out, but that's a beautiful smoky grey, I would say. Probably not dark as dark as a charcoal, but certainly a smoky grey, and that's going to look lovely against the, the fabric there for the um, coat. So next we're on to the piece of fabric for the dress, and this is a lovely brush cotton fabric. And so we've got, it feels really nice. So it has got one side that's slightly fluffier than the other, so you'll be able to choose which side you use. I probably will use this side, I think, which is probably the wrong side, actually, but it just but it just feels far more vibrant perhaps it's the way it's been folded in the pack um but i would that will be the side that i will use yeah because the other side is is just a little bit more brushed i think but that's really vibrant so and but you can choose so which whichever one you want to choose and this is width of fabric again so let me pop that together and just put this together so that we can see where we are with this See if this is 29 inches long again. Yes, it is. So that was 158 centimetres, wasn't it, long? And then the, the depth of it, I've got a crease there, just smooth that out, is 13 inches again, which is 33 centimetres. So it's a really lovely big piece of fabric. It just goes some, some way to show you how lovely and full that skirt is going to be for... Um, on Luna's winter dress. And as I say, the um, front panel here is cut on the bias by going down this way. So we'll see how that turns out when we, when we do that. And we'll talk about how to cut that out in the tutorial. But as I say, this is just a kit opening video just to show you what actually you get, get in there for your money. So that's our three fabrics all together. So let's have a little look at our haberdashery pack now. Oh, if I can find the opening. And so we have in here, very carefully tip these out so I don't go pinging all over my sewing room. Oops. So we have one tartan bow that matches 
similar, similar colours to that that's in the dress. And I believe that goes on the back. We've then got some bias binding. So how big is this bow? Should we just measure that for you, just so that you've got an idea? So it's about three and a half inches across. And then to the bottom of the tails, it's probably about two and a half inches. Put those to one side. We've got some tartan bias trim for going on the inside of the coat at the hem. And this is one and a quarter inches, which is three centimetres, excluding, so the actual finished edge that is excluding the um, folded in bits of the bias binding. So just the flat edge of it is three centimetres. Let me just measure this for you. Again, it'll give you some idea of how much fabric is in that skirt for Luna's dress. And this is 33 inches long, which is 84 centimetres. That's a really pretty, it's quite stiff. So that's nice, that feels lovely. So that also will match on the back and we'll, we'll, the colours on it were perfect for the velvet that we've got there. So let's pop those to one side. And then we've got four press studs. So they must be for on the front of the coat. So one, two, three, four press studs there, little black ones. And I think these are size double zero, I would think. Yeah, they're six mil across they are. So six millimeter press studs in black. And then we've got two, four, six little black buttons. Just like these, just a little indented on the on the front there. And these are six mil across as well. So those will be going down the front of the of the um probably about on the front of the dress actually, I think, because I think the coat just pulls together. Let's have a little look and just see on that coat. Yeah, there's no fastenings on the coat, I don't think. I think that just folds together. But the buttons go down the front of the dress lock, two, four, six, just down there. So the press studs will go down there as well. And then the coat. Yeah, there's no fastenings on the coat. Oh, the, oh, you do need a hook and eye, but that's not included. So I don't know why that's not included, but you would normally have a hook unless it's got caught up in the highest binding. Yeah, so we'll, we'll need a hook and eye anyway, just to, just to close that coat, just up at the top. Um, and then here we can see there's the, the bow on the back of the dress just there. Very lovely. Okay, so again, I want to say thank you to Colleen um, for purchasing, for the sponsorship of the kit and also for the two tutorials that will come from this at least um one for the coat and one for the dress sometimes i do have to split them up into separate tutorials just because they're so long because i want to get as much detail in as i can do especially when we're sewing with the velvet and with the fur then there's a lot of detail there to include if i can get it done in one i will do but colleen as i say has sponsored the video so thank you very much to colleen and i hope you look forward to um to these tutorials and um, if the best way to be notified about my tutorial or to know when I've got videos uploaded is to become a subscriber. It doesn't cost anything at all to, to you. It's just means to YouTube that you like my channel and it'll bring you more content like that. Um, and then if you click the notification bell at the same time, you'll then get an email or a notification when I upload a new video. And at some point between now and Christmas, um, because I'm sure a lot of you will be wanting to make this outfit for Christmas, then we'll get that uploaded for you so that you'll be able to have good time to make that. So just want to say thank you very much, everybody, for watching my videos. I hope you've enjoyed this kit opening video today. I look forward to making this outfit. It's absolutely darling and it um, really is going to be beautiful. Beautiful, I think in this this red colorway rather than the blue colorway but it's nice just to see the difference isn't it so I hope everybody's having a great day and I'll speak to you soon take care everybody bye